Good news, everybody. I got this Bugaluneth. Yeah. Ooh. I ran out of Cactar, so that's as high as low as I got him. But, um, this next event, gonna farm a lot of Karma and XP. Really looking forward to that, so that's gonna be really cool, really exciting. I didn't realize how, um, strong his ability, um, abilities get when you equip a sword. So, I'm gonna have to farm something up, because right now I've only got an Enhancer. Like, I don't have the Shining Splendor, I don't have the Moon Blade, um, which I guess is coming up next. But, um, but that's like, what, 20, 30 attack more? Yeah, I definitely need that on this guy. So, I think Blood Sword is a great sword, so yeah, it goes, goes right back down. So, I'm gonna take advantage of that eventually. Um, for now, I'll probably just get an Excalibur and huh, yeah. So, also got Clouded Darkness, six stars. This is gonna be my, my leveling team. Um, the fun part about level, leveling with TMs um, is you can do crazy stuff. So I just got this equipped large sword. I'm super excited. So I'm actually gonna put um, the Deathbringer on her once that finishes um, in 5%. So Dark Knight Cecil is coming up soon. So check this out. It's 36 Cloud of Darkness, level 36 with 400 attack. <laughs> so that'll get some experience for sure. Let's see. Oh, I do, I did wanna point out one thing. I wanted to apologize to everyone. I was uh, messing around with Dark Knight Cecil and I realized that a double hand build is much, much better for him than a dual wield. First of all, you don't almost die every time you use any of your abilities, which is, is really strong, but it's kind of frustrating because if you don't get heals right away, if the enemy looks at you, you're dead, right? I mean, if you use Soul Eater, you wind up with like 91 health. <laughs> so that's silly. So having uh, a single weapon really cuts that down and um, emphasizes his role as the last hit in the chain um, to get super high damage. So this is with without any attack plus, um, just a Sakura and Blade Mastery with double hand and hyper wrists. If you put bracers on her, him, he'll get up to like 620. I didn't try to put the attacks on, but um, hmm, I wonder. It's, but it's pretty strong for not needing a dual wield TM. So I wanted to point that out, um, maybe suggest that people give that a try instead of a dual wield Dark Knight Cecil. Um, just, I, I feel like he plays better. He, he just feels more solid all around. And I think he's gonna take the place of my tank in my lineup. So once um, PVP comes out or I get Cloud or Lunith up to snuff, Cecil's out of here. And um, I guess it just really depends on the situation. I like Ramza because he's my only guy with cheer at the moment. Um, oh, that's right, I took off my enhancer. See, that's that's the problem, is I need another sword, another good sword, so. Um, yeah, I did manage to get a letters in arms from trying to pull Lunith, so that was cool. Um, if I put a, another Madge on him, he gets up to 540. I'll probably do this for PvP because he's got um, an innate 50% risk resist to everything, just like Cloud. And then I have a suspicion the computer's not going to use dual cast anyway, so pumping up his magic. And then, well, um, hopefully they'll either use Hero's Rhyme or Ultima. And not Holy Blade. <laughs> Anything but Holy Blade. Well, I guess I have no control over that, huh? So, anyway, that's the deal with me for now. Um, TMing a bunch of Blade Masteries, another Cowl, and the Moon Blade. So he's, um, gotta get that for Luneth. Gonna be fun. So stay tuned. Thanks for your support. I really like it when um, people make 
videos using my characters. So if you have that ability, please share it with me. It's super cool. Um, if you want to learn how, let me know. Maybe I can make a tutorial on it. It's really not that hard. You just have to connect your device and hit record. But um, yeah. Thanks, uh, as usual, for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.